One of the most iconic sidearms of all time, one that has seen combat like no other. From World War I all the way until this very day, used by over 28 nations worldwide. Ladies and gentlemen, in this episode of Weapon History, we are going to be taking a look at the Browning M1911. The M1911 is an iconic pistol that has seen a lot of action in the world and has earned quite a reputation amongst its many years of service. But let's talk how bad it performs on the battlefield we all enjoy playing first. Now as we all know, the M1911 in Battlefield 4 likes to pack quite a punch and it's a good pistol up close, but you will have to be very accurate while firing this weapon due to its very small magazine size. It's got 8 rounds in total, so you will have to make every shot count. This pistol performs well at close to medium range, it has a decent rate of fire, and perhaps the most important feature of all, it looks pretty damn sexy. Now how about you and me go have a look-see at one of these weapon stats, thingies, pages, thing to... to Statistics! The M1911 is a semi-auto pistol that originates from the United States. The weapon has been in service since 1911 up until this day. It puts out a maximum damage of 36.6 and a minimum damage of 15.4 with a rate of fire of 310 rounds per minute. The total ammo capacity of the 1911 is 8, 7 in the magazine, plus 1 in the chamber. Now to reduce the spread on this weapon, I would personally recommend a heavy barrel. It will add some kick to the weapon, but in the hands of a skilled shooter, I'm sure this won't be an issue. Now if you don't feel up to the task of attaching every barrel on this weapon, I would recommend sticking with the stock barrel. Any other of the barrel attachments will not make this weapon any more accurate than it already is. Now let's all take a brief look into the history of the almighty M1911. The M1911 has sure seen a lot of action on previous Battlefield games, from Battlefield 1942 up until this very Battlefield 4 game. DICE always made sure to include this all-American weapon. But who's the smart fella behind this beauty? Well, the name is Mr. John Browning, one of the most famous weapon designers of all time. He began to develop these semi-auto pistols for Colt Patton's Firearms Manufacturing Company in the early 1900s. And in 1905, he designed two high-caliber sidearms to replace the standard-issue 38 cal revolvers that were in use back then. These two designs were hammer and hammerless versions of the same basic design and show a clear resemblance to the M1911. Now in 1906 and 1907, the US military tested several semi-automatic pistols, including designs from Colt, Luger, Savage, and others. However, all these pistols were deemed unsatisfactory for military use, and the competitors were asked to improve their designs for the next weapon trials. Now Mr. Browning and Colt spent the next three years engineering improvements to their semi-automatic pistol, and after further extensive testing, the new pistol and its cartridge from Browning were adopted by the US military as the M1911, named after the year in which the weapon was adopted. Now prior and during World War I, more than one million of these guns were manufactured, and rights to manufacture the M1911 were sold to some foreign countries, such as Norway and Argentina. Now, after World War I, many changes were made to the weapon to make it even more effective during combat. Now, this semi-automatic pistol would see a lot of action, and almost 2.7 million M1911s and M1911A1s were produced for military use during World War I, World War II, Korea, and the Vietnam. Now, this all-American bad boy continued to serve until 1985, when it was officially replaced with the Beretta M9 pistol, that is the US-made Beretta 92FS. However, the M1911 is still very popular among some US Spec Ops forces due to its high accuracy and the fact that 45 ACP is way more effective than the 9mm NATO round. But, unfortunately, more and more units keep moving away from the M1911, as it is a very, very high-maintenance pistol. Now in the years 70s and 80s, many civil versions of the pistol started being sold, and even today, this iconic weapon is still very high in demand. Now me personally, I love this weapon in Battlefield 4. It sure isn't the best or the easiest sidearm to use, but heck, I don't mind the challenge. <laughs> Alrighty guys, let me know in the comments section what you love most about this weapon, and what weapon would you like to see me cover in the next episode of Weapon History. Be sure to leave a rating on the video as it is always very much appreciated. Thank you for watching guys, I am Dolce, loving your faces when I'm not loving the M1911, and I'll see you in the next video.